powerful mask. I use the mask to channel my power. It is the mask of the moon. Baba taught me the ways. Graceful is the flaw. A harmony soaked in virtuous intent. We should keep moving. Your proficiency intrigues me, but yet it does not make you immortal, Kijana. You are injured. You must heal. I am fine. A gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion. Hmm. Maybe you are right. Fine. I will heal. I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side. And these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. Ah, a sealed gate. No matter, there must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. a powerful history. The Mask of the Sun. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Hmm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The Sun. The Moon. I must embrace the dance. property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever. Fury, shaman. Fury and grace. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. 
Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kama uhai na kifo. Do you feel that too? That energy? I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear. Only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. <laughs> the boy stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger too. Finally, now to the gate. Now, I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. That is our first destination. The sooner this will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great spirit. Finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Ah!
so. Every step, another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. Hmm. I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <laughs> that girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, you must find a way to the surface. I know this symbol. Greatness. Fools chase it, yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue up. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it. One, all I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a shaman. Hmm. The choice. I've seen this before. A shaman's trinket. See how delicate it is. Powerful, too. Yes. You are lucky, Zhao. This power in the wrong hands would be disastrous. Today, it has found a hopeful host. You are a shaman of Kinzera. Use this power how the others would have wanted. For good. For greatness. that a bridge would best me. Yes, I did. <laughs> Shows how much faith you have in me. Yes, it does. Tricksters corrupted by their lingering circumstance. They have abandoned their jesting nature for spite. Do not underestimate them, Zhao.
statue. It looks just like the sun and moon masks. Different. Hadithi Yabamba. Hmm. The tale tells us his legend. Long ago, the villages surrounding Ikakaramba were at the mercy of raging floods. It was Bamba, a young shaman, who would quell the water's rage. Bamba took a small stone, imbued it with the power of the moon, and threw the stone from the highland's peak when the waters were at their angriest. The force of his throw was so great, so fast, that it solidified the waters. It allowed the people to leave safely and migrate away from danger. Now, this shaman shrine means to imbue you with your predecessor's power, Bamba's stone. <laughs> what is funny? Uh, sorry, uh, Bamba stone? <laughs> is that really the name? These are the stories of your ancestors. He gave of himself, and the people here reveled in his sacrifices. I mean, for throwing a stone. His experiences are embedded in the masks you carry. Shamans get shines. No. The actions of the Nganga dictate who does and who does not. 